It's hot enough already over here in the UK, and I'm about to watch this polo cross video, which is an Australian invention, and I think that might make me feel even hotter. Look, I'm moaning about the heat, but just look how hot it is there. I think this is in Queensland. Yeah, I was right. Polo Cross originated in Australia in 1938 and is big in country Queensland. Oh, 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 yeah. oh my God! Grazier Anthony Glasson is president of the Thaga Minda Polo Cross Club. So tell me all about the, the game of Polo Cross. Well, it's sort of a cross between polo and lacrosse. It's a little bit like rugby on horseback. I know what polo is, and I know what lacrosse is, sort of. I don't necessarily know the rules or anything of either. Um, and and from from looking at the the bats that they have, they're not bats, are they? The nets they have, they look exactly what they would have in lacrosse. So it, all it actually seems like is polo, but in the air. That, that that sounds really stupid, what I've just said, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> one way of looking at it. <laughs> yeah, and um, it's just one horse, um, which makes it a lot cheaper and easier than, than the likes of polo, where you need a string of four or five horses per player. It's um, one of the only sports I know that, that you can play all age groups all together, um, men and women. It's, yeah, really, it's a really great family sport. And do you actually get to compete when you live way out here? Yeah, yeah, there's a, we've got a lot of carnivals reasonably locally. Next weekend we've got one of our close ones in Eulay. And have you always played polo cross? No, no. Uh, I had a little Shetland pony when I was growing up, but that was it. And then when I came here, I learned how to ride a horse, really. And where did you come from to land here? Oh, I'm, I'm from Holland. I came here backpacking and, um, well... Never left. Never left. <laughs> To be fair, he looks like a Dutch. You, If you stuck a, a, an old style hat on him, he looks like a Dutch explorer. How they, how they're coping with the flies everywhere and, and whatnot, and those poor horses. But it does look like brilliant fun. I think you've got to appreciate the control they have of their horses as well. <laughs> no, no. He was too good to leave, was he? Oh, absolutely, yeah. We have twin boys, 11-year-old twin boys and a 12-year-old daughter. And, um, yeah, she's off to boarding school, but she'll be home next week. Hold there. Yeah. And when you throw, give it a little flick back. A little flick. Yeah. Polo cross is a game the Glasson twins clearly love. Oh! <laughs> yeah. oh I nearly got that one. Yes, you were very close. Oh, nice. What do you love about it? Tell uh, me. It's just, it's a mix of everything. It's a mix of like riding a horse, mix of adrenaline, 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 adrenaline. <laughs> Got it. And it's just so much fun. So is it pretty fun living out here on this station? Yes. Um, yeah. Out here you can finish school and then just bugger off. <laughs> I love the kid who's like, finish school and then just bugger off. I, I don't think I've heard many children say the word bugger off. Um, the flies, though. I'm sure one of those flies went in his mouth. That That's why they speak like that, right? They speak like they're a ventriloquist, so the flies don't go in their mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, good on you, moonshine. I'm introduced to the last member of this polo cross family, moonshine. She's one half of a tall tale that turns out to be true. <laughs> About 18 months ago, she turned up all of a sudden in the horse paddock with a little tiny black calf following her, trying to suckle from her. She chased all the other horses away from it. She was protecting it like it was her own foal. And she basically mothered that. We, we ended up feeding the calf uh, on a bottle. And, but it lived with moonshine and she protected it and looked after it for about two months. Did the calf think, think it was a polo cross horse? I think it must have. <laughs> so it's, it's, this uh, being Thargo, of course the calf got itself a nickname. We ended up calling the calf horse. <laughs> I'm 
I'm very excited to get back on the horse and play another game with my family. It's good to catch up with people I know and everyone asks me how I'm going at boarding school and yeah, it's good. You catch up with a lot of friends that you only see during polo cross season. Yeah, just a really good social event and get together and catch up. No more fun you can have than playing a sport with your kids, it's awesome. That does sound good. It does look brilliant. Um, I, I really enjoy riding horses, but my problem is I am allergic to horses. So my hands, you'll see on our vlog, when we went over to Mallorca, our, our second ever vlog, um, we went horse riding. And as soon as that finished, oh my God, my hands were so itchy. It looks like really good fun, actually. And I would love to give it a try. Looks tricky. The, 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 the ability that you've got to have to control your horse and, and well, with one hand and your, obviously your feet whilst controlling the, the net as well. Don't know, if, I, I don't think net would be the proper terminology for it. Looks brilliant. Looks really good fun. How they can cope with all those flies is beyond me, but they maybe they need those cork hats. A brilliant find. Brilliant find. I don't know why they'd call it rugby on horseback because it looked nothing like rugby. You may know better. Have you played polo cross? If you have, let me know and give me some advice. Maybe how I can have a go sometime. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.